Teft and Sigzil are waiting on the edge of the Shattered Plains, trusting that Kaladin will return safely. We learn that Teft was raised in a cult called the Envisagers. His parents and their friends thought that if they could bring about the return of the Voidbringers, then that would trigger the return of the Knight's Radiance. Then we cut to the Plains, where Kaladin and Shallan are running out of time before the High Storm. Shallan draws a map from memory, and Kaladin is amazed at its accuracy and detail. Shallan notices that some of the plateaus are mirror images of each other, and Kaladin tells her that he saw in a dream that the Shattered Plains are symmetrical. She has an epiphany and suddenly claims to know where the Parshendi are and the Oath Gate. She starts talking about an ancient city and cymatics, and Kaladin has no idea what she's going on about. Meanwhile, Kaladin keeps trying to contact Syl and use Stormlight, but he's unable to do either. He starts spiraling, blaming himself for their predicament. Just as Shallan is getting Kaladin to loosen up a bit and look on the bright side, a chasm fiend comes around the corner. It chases them, and they're barely able to squeeze into a crack in the wall where it can't reach them. After hiding for a while, Kaladin decides to sacrifice himself by rushing the monster so Shallan can escape and hopefully make it back to the war camp before the high storm hits. Shallan tries to talk him out of it, but when he won't listen, she says, well, at least take this, and summons a shard blade.